G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, this video is a bit of a wake-up call. Um, never to take anything for granted when it comes to matter work particularly. And <clears throat> the case in point is this little jigger here, which is a um, protractor ruler. And uh, it's a little item that I use a lot. Particularly when I'm setting up the, uh, to mill on the lathe and that. It's a handy little gadget. It's, I think I paid about 12 bucks for it. It's stainless steel. From memory it was made in India. Oh, I can't see it marked on here now. I bought it a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure it was made in India. Anyway. Cut. Long story short. I've used this for you know, a long time and never really questioned it. And then the other day I was doing some milling and I was, you know, wanting to get it really spot on. And after I'd done the milling and I checked it with this, it checked out okay, but then I checked it with another square. And yep, yep, you can, you can believe it. This little gadget is actually a half a degree out. Well, on its reading. So the 90 degree position which is the right there, and I'll just double check this with another square. This is actually a half a degree out. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it shouldn't be out at all. So if we have a close look at the scale, I'll zoom in, you can see how much it's out. Well, there you have it. Half a degree. To correct it, you to bring it from there to there, in real terms you have to basically grind across like that to allow the protractor to come back further to the left, you know, with me? So basically you're grinding a very, very, very tiny wedge like that off the bottom. So you, when you grind you apply the pressure, most of your pressure on this side of the uh, protractor and that will tend to put more grinding action on that end of the, of the base takes a very very tiny bit to correct these and so don't go overboard and just do a bit check it and then if they're not right just do a little bit more but uh, you know the old saying you can take metal off easily but it's, it's hard to put back so <laughs> this is a classic case right so this just comes off the washer I mean, I really like these. These are quite good, but it's just that bit out. So, so now all we have to do is square it up. It's just t take off a uh, a bit from this side across. So just a little on an angle. So basically, you take a half a degree off through this way. So we'll do it. Take a bit off and then recheck it. Ground it nice and accurately. You can see it's still good and flat. I hope that's coming up alright on the camera. So now it's just a matter of putting it back together. Now when you put this back together, it's pretty simple except that this little washer is a cup washer. So it's concave on the bottom. So make sure you put it concave side down. And that way it gets, uh, puts a bit of tension on the on the gizmo, and we do it right. Get it on. 
190. We're right on the spot. Check it with the old Maggie in the fine glass. That's dead on. Dead on the money. And there she should be 100%. Which it is. There you go. Simple little fix. Now the gauge is accurate as it should have been when it came out the factory, but of course it was probably near lunchtime and the guy had time to uh, do just one more, and that was that one. Anyway, easy fix, so as you can see. So check your little protractor ruler. Uh, it may may not be as good as you think it is. And if it's not right, we'll just correct it. Uh, easy fix. Okay, well, I hope you found it interesting. See you next time. Cheers.